Well, let's look at a couple of examples of how to use our concept and equation for elastic potential energy, which I remember is also spring potential energy. So, number five, let's read together. A spring with a spring constant of 2.6 newtons per meter is stretched a distance of 0.7 meters. What's the potential energy in the system? Well, again, here's my answer. So let's see if I can show my work and actually get that answer to make sure I understand the concept. A spring with a spring constant of 2.6 newton meters. So I'm given my spring constant, please excuse the background noise, of K, which is equal to 2.6 newtons per meter, and a distance of 0.7 meters. 0.7 meters. And my unknown is going to be potential energy. Now, is this gravitational? No, well, it's a giveaway that this is called elastic potential energy. But let's look. We're talking about a spring. And I'm given a spring constant, so I automatically know this is going to be my potential energy that is elastic, my elastic potential energy. So my formula, I remember, is potential energy here is equal to one half of k, which is the spring constant, times x, which is the distance squared. So as I make my substitution, I know my, I leave my potential energy here, because that's what I'm solving for, is equal to one half of k, which here is 2.6, times x, which is now d and x. Now I know I, I'm in the habit of writing down distance with d, but I know in the spring situation, in a spring, in a spring potential energy situation, I know my, I'm going to use x to describe the distance an object is either compressed or stretched. All right, so I'm going to plug in the distance of 0 0.7 meters here. And as I do, I plug that in the calculator. And in fact, I've done it right. This is going to give me 0 0.637 joules of elastic potential energy. Next, let's look at one that's slightly different. Problem number six. Let's see what we're given. A truck's suspension springs each have spring constants of 769 newtons per meter. So my spring constant is 769 newtons per meter. If the potential energy of the front right spring, so just one of the springs, is 250 joules. So my potential energy, and I'm going to use K here rather than writing the whole word elastic. I'm just going to use K to describe elastic potential energy because that's the same variable I use for uh, the spring constant. So potential energy is going to be 250 joules. And now I'm looking for my unknown is going to be how far it's compressed. And just like the one before, I know that the distance compressed is going to be x. So my formula is going to be potential energy my elastic potential energy is one half k x squared. So all I do is I take my givens, plug it in. So my kinetic, or sorry, my uh, elastic potential energy is going to be 250 joules equals one half of 769 times. Now I'm looking for x, so I leave x squared by itself. Now as I do this math, I know that 250 is going to be equal to what's one half of 769 is going to be 384.5 times x squared. Now when I divide both sides by 384.5, I realize that I'm going to come out with an x squared, which is going to be 250 divided by 384.5 is going to be 0 0.650195. And I don't want to round yet. I don't want to round till the end of the problem. So I take the square root of both sides, and I'm left with x is going to be equal to 0 0.81 meters. 
So have I done the problem correctly? Yes, I have. And that's an example of how to use my concept and equation for elastic potential energy.